so welcome students let us start with your first chapter of your jee series as i mentioned you i'll be doing uh, like all the board papers one after the other so the chapter which i picked up here is electrochemistry done in electrochemistry chapter first before i solve all the questions of all the papers that is from almost 2003 to 2016 i'll give you the basic formulas what to remember for your exams that is important so in electrochemistry chapter whenever we are dealing this so that uh, the numerical the formulas which you should remember yes so note it carefully one after the other so that it's easy for for me to solve the numericals which are prescribed for your exam done so the first formula which you have to remember is faraday's laws okay faraday's law of electrolysis you need to remember this formula so you i've already thought in my video for the faraday's first law when i take first law the formula which you should remember is w is equal to z i t this is the formula which i have thought already so for the second law you need to remember the formula w1 by w2 is equal to e1 by e2 electrochemical equivalence this is what i mentioned so if you have any doubt we can watch and go back to the electrochemistry chapter in the playlist and you can find the explanation for this that after that after faraday's first and second law let us go and see write the next uh, formula which is very important in electrochemistry that is your formula for conductance so when i have to learn the formula for conductance right it is we can write uh, learn it as conductance is inversely proportional to resistance done right now if i have to represent or if i have to learn the formula for the third formula for specific resistance specific specific resistance so which is represented by rho right which is equal to r into a by l i've explained this also right i'm just mentioning the formulas here now in the l by l by a is a cell constant which you've already learned done suppose if i have no the, uh, the same uh, thing here in this condition if you have to take l is equal to 1 cm a is equal to 1 cm square then r will become equal to rho r will become equal to right let, let us remember the next formula specific conductivity okay specific conductivity is the next formula which you have to remember specific conductivity it is denoted by or uh, de uh, kappa this now what is the formula kappa is equal to 1 by r into l by a done yes this can also be uh, written as because 1 by r is equal to c this can also be written as pi is equal to c into l by a done right let us see the next formula the next formula which you have to remember because i am listing out all the formulas one after the other so that's easy for me to as i said earlier next formula would be molar conductivity right so for molar conductivity when i have to see it is denoted by or uh, this one uh, of uh, the conducting power of all the ions i can denote it by or represented by molar conductivity which is or it can also be written as mu which is equal to into Thousand by capital M. Done. Now here, uh, capital M is a concentration in mole per liter. Done. Yes. So th that is nothing but molarity of the solution. Nothing, isn't it? Yes. Now let's come back and see the next formula. Next formula which we are going to learn is equivalent conductivity. Equivalent conductivity. Done. Which is denoted by lambda E Q, or it can be denoted by M I Q is equal to K into thousand by C equivalent. It is nothing but normality. Okay, here it is molarity. Here it is normality. Right. Now let me come back and teach one more. Suppose if I have to learn now, which, which formula is this? This is six. Let me learn. Teach you. Uh, recollect the seventh formula, which you need to remember. Suppose if we are speaking about D by Huckel, D by Huckel. on sage equation d by huckel on sage equation if i have to learn that the formula which you should remember is mu is equal to mu infinity b into c now what is mu here mu mu is the molar conduct conductance at infinity now b is a constant here and c is a concentration right now let us write one more formula suppose if i have to write kohlrausch formula kohlrausch 
Kolras law of independent migration of ions independent migration of ions if i have to write this formula how do i write that the formula for this is molar conductivity at infinite dilution suppose if you are taking a b okay right here it can be like uh, it's combination of a cation and an anion here i'm going to take my molar conductivity of cation plus the limiting molar conductivity of anion this is the formula right now what is this this is <coughs> the molar conductivity of cation A, molar conductivity of cation B. Done. Now, suppose if I take further applications of Kohl-Rush cool law, there are different formulas which we will be using. So, when I go with applications of Kohl-Rush cool law, the formulas which I'll be using is suppose if I need to find the limiting molar conductivity, it can be written as limiting molar conductivity. Okay, let me write that limiting molar conductivity for certain elements suppose they like given you acetic acid like that so limiting molar conductivity anything it can be sodium acetate anything you'll write it as mu infinity for acetic acid if i take an example ch3coh that is equal to mu of infinity ch3co minus right plus mu infinity h plus this is for finding the particular given example so there's one more formula or one more application let me write that this particular formula is used for finding degree of dissociation this these all come under uh, applications degree of dissociation right so the degree of dissociation is denoted by the formula alpha is equal to mu c by mu infinity okay this is what molar conductivity at certain concentration by at uh, okay let me write this what is this mu c is molar conductance at any concentration this is molar conductance at infinite dilution and now let me take one more formula which you have to remember suppose if i have to calculate solubility of a sparingly soluble salt okay let us write that the formula is solubility of sparingly soluble salt then i need to write the formula which is uh, represented by not eq is equal to k into thousand by s this is what is important for you all now, next further if i have to learn let us take out this page and come back to the ninth formula suppose if i have to write further learn the formulas left over because cold rush law i've learned i've going to learn molar conductivity and everything now suppose if i have to write or represent uh, the nhe let us come back to now electrochemical cells so the concept would be now electrochemical cells in this you'll be learning about nernst equation everything under electrochemical cells a formula which you have to remove represent or remember is NHE. What is NHE? NHE is normal hydrogen electrode. For normal hydrogen electrode, the cell notation would be platinum hydrogen at an atmosphere this is H plus 1 molar concentration. This is for NHE. Suppose if you are representing it for a calomel electrode or a hydrogen electrode uh, like that. Suppose hydrogen electrode is standard hydrogen electrode which we are going to take. For that side the standard hydrogen electrode we have already uh, learnt also in the videos where the uh, for SHE the, you are going to take, take, take it as a standard where the voltage is given as 0.00 volts at all temperatures that is SHE. Further for calomel electrode you will be taking mercury as uh, the main uh, this one. Calomel is commonly called as mercury chloride. Calomel means mercury chloride. You will be taking that also. right? Now next formula which you have to remember is electrode potentials. Okay, Electrode electrode potentials so for electrode potentials when you have to learn what is the formula you have to remember both oxidation potential as well as reduction potential then yes so you have to remember one important thing <coughs> e oxidation is equal to minus e reduction you have to remember this formula i'll be applying this in uh, different different numericals which i'm going to teach you later in very uh, in just five or ten minutes yeah. in when i have to speak about uh, this one right in terms of the standard electrode potential then let me write that also standard electrode potential so on the standard electrode potential well, how can i write let me underline this standard oxidation potential standard oxidation potential is equal to minus standard 
reduction potential rp okay done when i write this basically just giving you to memorize all the things done so when i have to write the uh, when i have to calculate uh, the cell potential means the electrode potential right the standard emf now let us write that as standard emf of a cell how is it represented it is represented by e naught cell okay standard electrode uh, emf of the cell electromotive force of the cell which is represented by e naught reduction minus i can also write like this e naught reduction which is equal to 1.1 volts which is at 25 degrees at 25 degree centigrade okay that is your uh, this formula for calculating uh, e naught potential now let me see the 11th formula which i have to remember before you uh, this one you can also write or when it's asked for calculating if they ask you to calculate emf of the cell from this only i'm deriving calculation of emf of a cell calculation for emf of the cell the formula which i have to remember is e naught cell is equal to e naught cathode which i've already taught you minus e e naught anode done this is also over because i'm summarizing all the formulas one after the other right now after this suppose if they ask you to write the formula for nernst equation let us write the formula also because you'll be getting numericals on that so what is this number number which I have mentioned it 12 right for the nernst equation nernst let me write the spelling first yeah nst right so the nernst equation as i have derived already in the videos from the, the formula which we are going to write is e cell is equal to e naught cell minus or okay if i take the other way is equal to minus 0 0.0591 by n log 10 products by reactants this is the formula for nernst equation which i'll be using in the numericals done suppose if i have to study the applications of nernst equation again you have formulas here applications of nernst equation you have formulas to be applied you need to be very careful here now uh, for uh, calculating the ph if i can use nernst equation for calculating the ph the formula is ph is equal to the cell minus e naught reference cell by 0 0.0591 this is the first application formula for calculating ph suppose if i have to calculate or measurement of equilibrium constant i need to measure or measurement this is used to uh, measure measurement of equilibrium constant so equilibrium constant is denoted if they, in the numerical they ask you there was a formula for calculating equilibrium constant <laughs> <coughs> yeah, like if I have to derive from the Nernst equation because from the Nernst equation I finally find that uh, thing how will I write E cell is equal to E naught cell minus 2.303 uh, T by NF log K this is your thing right so further if you simplify this I can also write this as E cell is equal to E naught cell minus i when i multiply 2.303 r uh, t and f and everything i get an answer of 0 0.0591 by n is already there because number of electrons that i can't remain predict like this isn't it done so this is your formula. now further if i have to uh, write or learn the formulas okay this is done let us write one more formula which you need to remember when i have to go and memorize the formula for the exam uh, what what is the next thing you need to remember the formula for relation relationship between cell potential okay cell potential the formula would be e naught cell okay comma free energy which is denoted by delta g and equilibrium constant equilibrium constant that is denoted by k if you have to remember the formula suppose in the numerical they've given you this you need to remember the formula the all the things which are related are uh, the formula which is related is e naught cell is equal to minus 2.303 uh, t by nf log kc okay this is at equilibrium constant all are there right now next before i said the gibbs free energy also you should uh, remember so let me write that formula delta g naught is equal to minus 2.303 rt 
lock okay, see let me see relation between cell potential okay free energy okay then equilibrium point kt all are related with these formulas done suppose if you have one more formula to remember what is the next formula relationship between relationship between standard <coughs> potentials standard potentials of half cells containing metal in different oxidation state okay if you have a metal there containing a metal containing a metal in different oxidation state okay so the formula which you're going to apply there is okay let me underline this suppose if you have this question in the exam the formula which you need to apply is e naught 3 is equal to n1 e naught 1 plus n2 e2 naught by n3 okay done so what are these here the half cell uh, the, uh, this particular e naught 1 e naught 2 are the half cell reactions having potentials okay they are having the potentials of this which is represented and e3 will be the uh, uh, e, uh, cell have, have, have cell potential of the third half cell then this is the formula right suppose if you have a further formulas remember you are only left with your uh, batteries that is primary uh, bat primary and secondary primary are not rechargeable secondary would be rechargeable and finally would be the formula for corrosion right you need to remember so these are the formulas which i've listed for electrochemistry now with this data i'll be starting so with solving the numericals one after the other so i've picked up all the numericals starting from 20 uh, 2002 almost 2002 till 2016 last year paper all are combined together for both the je and neat series